Welcome to morning prayer for Sunday the 2nd of October 2022, the 16th Sunday after Trinity. This service is coming to you from the benefice of Chew Valley East and you can download it from the lakesidegroup.org website. If you wish to join in the service, then the words in bold are to be said together. And please join in with the Psalms and Canticles, either by reciting each one in its entirety or in response to my leading by reciting the even-numbered verses, as I say, the odd-numbered ones. So let us pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 37, verses 1 to 9. Fret not because of evildoers. Be not jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like grass, and like the green herb fade away. Trust in the Lord and be doing good. Dwell in the land and be nourished with truth. Let your delight be in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord and put your trust in him and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness cl as clear as the light and your just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait for him. Do not fret over those that prosper as they follow their evil schemes. Refrain from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret let you, lest you be moved to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from the second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of the life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. Recalling your tears, I long to see you, so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and now, I'm sure, lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour Christ Jesus who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. 
For this gospel, I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher. And for this reason, I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard until that day that I have entrusted to him. Hold to the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you with the help of the Holy Spirit living in us. An Old Testament canticle from 1 Chronicles 29. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. Blessed are you, God of Israel, for ever and ever. For yours is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendour and the majesty. Everything in heaven on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honour come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might. Yours it is to give power and strength to all. And now we give you thanks, O God, and praise your glorious name. For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Splendour and majesty are yours, O God. You are exalted as head over all. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 5 to 10. The apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. The Lord replied, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to you, your slave who has just come in from ploughing or tending sheep in the field? Come here at once and take your place at the table. Would you not rather say to him, prepare supper for me, put on your apron and serve me while I eat and drink. Later you may eat and drink. Do you thank the slave for doing what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were ordered to do, say, we are worthless slaves. We have done only what we ought to have done. A responsory from Colossians 3. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. You have died, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on the earth, and Christ shall give you light. When Christ our life appears, you will appear with him in glory. Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give you light. The Benedictus You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of your servant David. In 
and our intercessory prayers to the words, Gracious Lord, please respond. Let your people rejoice in you. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Lord, we come before you with faltering faith, with doubts and anxieties. Teach us to wait patiently on your presence. Rekindle within us the gift of your grace. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Lord, our land can feel a strange place to proclaim your glory. Teach us to sing the song of your mercies anew. We rejoice in your great faithfulness. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Lord, the land produces of your bounty and sustains us with all we need. Teach us to be responsible stewards of creation and to share of your goodness. As we are thankful, so make us mindful of the needs of all. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Lord, hear our prayer for all who are weary and whose labours seem thankless. In all our sorrows, restore our trust in your providential care. Pour upon us all your compassionate love. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Lord, hear our prayer for all whose lives feel desolate and lonely. Deal tenderly with those whose hearts are torn apart by grief. Gather to yourself in gentleness and peace all the departed. Gracious Lord, let your people rejoice in you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord of creation, whose glory is around and within us, open our eyes to your wonders, that we may serve you with reverence and know your peace at our lives' ends. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>